Why the hell they even let anyone fly over Los Perdidos? I'll break that scale. The city should be in no-fly zone. Shouldn't even be using an airport that close to the city. Relax. What's gonna hurt us up here? <laughs> You don't look so good. You okay? Yeah. I got bit by some weird bee this morning on the tarmac. Maybe I'm allergic. <coughs> allergic, huh? Allergic. <laughs> Let's get this plane down on the ground. What are you crazy? Those prettiers is filled with sound. We're full of people here. I know how to deal with this. What's up, everybody? Everything good? <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Brabin Knoxville. Is, is today your birthday? Are you the birthday guy that hit me up on Twitter? Somebody hit me up today saying it was their birthday. And they are excited about the stream because it's their birthday. It's being shit at the moment. Hmm. Is it better right now? Like, is it is it getting any better? <laughs> Every day is pretty heartless his birthday. I heard every day is Player Uno's birthday as well. So let's uh, let's spread the word on Twitter. Let's get as many people listening as possible because this first story that I have to tell you, I got some breaking news on the uh, the whore phone front, and uh, it's gonna be interesting. Every day is Jim Norton's birthday. I like Jim Norton a lot. I think Jim Norton would get a would get a kick out of the whore phone, to be honest. You have terrible internet, so it cuts out a lot. I'm sorry, man. But was today your birthday? Are you are you the birthday guy, Brabin Knoxville? Okay, so yeah, happy birthday! Everybody wish this guy happy birthday. All right. So get a few more people in here. I guess I could tell the story more than once. So basically, you're not gonna believe this, guys. I mean, after everything that went on last night and uh, and getting the phone back and and uh, hold on a second here. Fuck. Those prettiers is filled with sound. We're full of people here. I know how to deal with this. It's 
For anybody who's just, uh, you know, I'll start. A little, I'm gonna start from the beginning. For anybody who's not familiar with this story, um, I, I see some, I see some names here that I don't recognize from yesterday. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike. Uh, Mike Roch at Rochi Kong on Twitter, if uh, if that matters to you at all. Um, and a hooker stole my mom's iPhone. Uh, I'm gonna read the story, basically word for word as I wrote it on Reddit, because that'll just keep things easier here. About three weeks ago, my 10-year-old niece was playing games with my mom's iPhone. She was at her friend's place just around the corner. She put it down on her friend's counter inside the house for about two minutes in order to join her friends outside in a water fight. Upon returning, the phone was gone. It was absolutely gone. Nobody knew where the fuck it was. Not, not her friend's mom, nobody. Um, we immediately had our suspicions as to who took it. As there was a girl that my sister and I grew up with in this neighborhood, which my mom has lived in this neighborhood since I was five years old, my sister was two. I'm 32 currently. She's lived here forever. But this girl was a known thief and all around undesirable human being in general. Uh, we haven't liked our whole lives. Uh, she was seen in the area as she was a friend of, of my niece's friend's mom. Uh, literally the last person in this neighborhood who didn't know that this girl was shit, basically. So she didn't know what she was up to. Uh, three weeks later, this girl's on, talking on the exact same white iPhone model as the one that was stolen, bragging about it to anybody who'd listen that she's gotten herself a new phone. My brother, who is 14 years old, noticed this. Uh, and told my niece's friend's mom that he thought it was fishy that she'd have the exact same phone as the one that disappeared from her house and thought that he thought that she stole it. Uh, my, my niece's friend's mom obviously agreed. She confronted her t she confronted her yesterday, took the phone from her, and the thief ultimately confessed that she stole it after about 20 minutes of lying and being called out for stealing more items. Now, my niece's friend's mom is a single mother of two. Uh, this girl not only stole the cell phone from her house, but stole grocery money, $100, from her purse. That's just fucking deplorable. So, the phone was returned to my Obviously, pretty upset that all her things were deleted because my mom is one of those people who just takes photos upon photos upon photos with her iPhone uh, photos videos whatnot there are there's tons of babies in my family and my mom she loves to document that shit she loves babies who doesn't they taste great I, I'm implying that I eat babies nothing uh, nothing uh, funky there you know what both horrible fuck it all but then my mom checked the messages on the phone. Literally thousands of messages were exchanged about bareback, bareback blowjobs, cream pies, and other sexual acts with monetary values attached. This has been literally the weirdest few days I've ever had. And uh, not only that, this girl left Facebook and Instagram logged in on the phone. So that's the story. This girl stole the iPhone. My mom got it back. And it, it, it's been used for whore business, basically. It looks like these guys on the screen here are telling the story. That's pretty great. In the fucking plane. So, guys, there's been new developments today. And, uh, I'm ready to tell that story. So... Hi, Alex farted. Yeah, uh, you're not late. Honestly, I just recapped the story from yesterday. I'm about to uh, let everybody in on, on the new developments. Um, basically, she stopped by today. She came to our door. Came to my mom's door. And, uh... She, she gave my mom a very weak-ass apology. Very weak-ass apology. Um clearly just embarrassed about being caught because otherwise she wouldn't have she wouldn't have apologized but her apology was basically basically I'm sorry I got caught because 
she said the words, I didn't know it was your phone. If I knew it was your phone, I wouldn't have taken it. So either way, this girl's a thief. But the thing is this, she would have had to have known it was my phone. The phone itself had a picture of my niece as the fucking wallpaper on it. And she was there when it was stolen. She watched my niece cry about not being able to find this phone and about how much trouble she was going to get into. So, this bitch is just a lying scumbag. When she apologized, I considered, you know, I considered not doing this tonight. I considered maybe that I, I was in the wrong for doing this. But, uh, I, 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 I mulled it over a bit, and I talked to some friends, and uh, they told me just to keep going. So I did. But guys, that's not enough. She came by again. She came by again afterwards. Um, actually, uh, let me tell you why she felt she was justified in stealing the phone. She felt she was justified in stealing the phone because apparently other people in this neighborhood are up to no good as well. And she figured that since they're up to no good, she could be up to no good. She could just take somebody's fucking cell phone and use it for whore games. But anyway, she stopped by again. Yeah, stopping by once with an insincere apology that was not accepted was not enough for this girl. This girl had the fucking nerve to come to the door once again. A and no apology this time. Not, not, apologetic, not apologetic at all. This bitch had the fucking audacity to ask for the phone. She wanted the phone. She wanted it in her fucking hands because she wanted to take it and delete all her shit from it. She was promptly told, no, the phone is not your property. And she didn't get to take the phone. So, you know, everybody knows I'm doing this because I'm trying to raise enough money to get my mom a new phone. I feel like this phone's tainted. Guys, I'm getting a cold or something. How the fuck am I getting a cold? In, in hot ass August. I am literally blaming that on the germs from the whore phone. The pussy phone. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I, I am about $80 away from being able to get my mom a new phone. And once that's done, uh, this phone is mine to do as I please with. And I've considered... Oh yeah, it is fucking September. Holy shit. Fuck you. Fuck you for making me look like an asshole. Um, it's September. How the fuck am I getting a cold in September? I'm getting syphilis, bitch. Exactly. So, basically, I need to raise 80 more dollars in order to get my mom a new, a new iPhone. And then when that's said and done, I've got to... I, I've got control of the one that we have currently. And I get to do whatever I want with it. I've considered maybe auctioning it off to the highest bidder tonight. With this girl's Facebook and Instagram accounts still logged in. So you can do whatever the fuck you please. Won't come back on me because I just sold the goddamn thing. I didn't know they were still logged in. Wink, nudge. Nobody will implicate me. We're all friends here. Uh, all her texts intact. Everything. Her fucking contacts. All that shit. You will have control of the whore phone. And you will be able to do as you please. So down below, there is a donate button. And uh, I will be live reading whore texts in different voices in exchange. So, wait, oh. Nope, that was not somebody making a donation. That was a purchase on ithreatenyourlife.com, also a website run by me. If you're into getting threatened, uh, <laughs> go there. <clears throat> okay, so I will be accepting donations down below. Uh, 
donations in exchange for live readings of legitimate whore texts. Texts from this whore to her John, setting updates, telling them what she's down for, what she won't do. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you guys heard last night, they got pretty nasty. Uh, there was a man that wanted her to sit on his face and fart for 20 minutes, offering her $100. So, I will kill zombies, and I will read Hortex, and if anybody's got any other questions, throw them my way. This way. Now. So, uh, how's everybody doing tonight? I mean... The last two days have been really fucking interesting for me. Uh, I've got a Reddit thread going on right now on uh, its subreddit, uh, My Evil Plan. That's really fun. And uh, I've got people telling me that I should do all sorts of things to this girl. Uh, hatching an evil plan. So hi to, hello to everybody from there, if there's anybody listening. My mother's a whore. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I open myself up to shit like this, but, you know. Some guy in the chat calling my mother a whore and saying he's got texts from her. Okay, if you got texts from her, obviously they're not from the last fucking three weeks because she didn't have a cell phone. 4chan. Nice. is a saint. I wouldn't say she's a saint, but I, I doubt she's uh, she's sexting with anybody. Oh. So is the audio coming through okay tonight, guys? Everything's good? Okay. Alright. So I'm going to look through the phone here. I'm going to choose our first, uh, our first text for the night. I have mods in the chat? No. I don't even know how to fucking do that. on their name and click mod. Um, I don't see no mod, to be honest. I see op user. I have the hooker phone. My mom's not, not here tonight.
Alright, I think I just made some mods. Where the fuck is the fucking... Alright. So I guess this girl only has certain nights where she'll actually, uh, put out. I just tried to mod Georgie Boy and, uh, Blake, and it didn't... I don't, I don't fucking know, guys. The fuck do I need a mod for? <clears throat> Let me see what I can fucking do here. So I'm going to go around, I'm going to kill shit, and uh, I'm going to talk to you guys until we get a donation. And once we get a donation, we'll get shit rolling with the, uh, the reading of the whore texts. Guys, I'm Mike. Uh, if you're just, if you're just, if you're just, uh, tuning in now, a fucking whore stole my mom's iPhone. Alright, so let me see what my missions are here. So everybody's good tonight. I'm actually kind of tired. Fuck, I'm dying. Shit. Yeah, the the whore is not good looking, guys. She's not good looking. Uh, I've promised not to actually share photos of her on here yet. Just because, uh, her mom isn't not a horrible person. She just raised a shitty kid. And, uh, I, I feel strongly against embarrassing her family more than she already has. However, text-wise and, and using her worker name instead of her real name, I think I'm okay. That was awesome. Guys, let's talk. What's up? That one dude's having a birthday. I'm fucking mowing down zombies. Gotta get up here. I'm dying. WF, WWF No Mercy. I fucking love WWF No Mercy, man. You're also having a birthday, Nate Dog. Happy birthday. Birthdays are great. I've had too many of them. 
I kind of just want to stop celebrating my birthday and stop aging altogether. You have wicked allergies. I'm wondering if that's what's happening to me. I don't know if I fucking... I don't know if I've, if I've got allergies or I'm getting a cold or if I, I caught something off this goddamn whore phone. I don't fucking know, but I feel pretty awful, to be honest. You like Nate Dogg better when he was dead. Come on, man. Like He's got hoes in different area codes. You just paid for a tux for three-piece chicken... Oh, three-piece chicken dinner's wedding. Wow. Where's my invitation, you son of a bitch? Oh, calm down, lady. It's not his fault. I figured you didn't have the balls to follow through, so I followed you. Now, you're the broad my boss is looking for. You're coming Seasonal allergies. Yeah, they're no fun. You know what else isn't fun? Having your cell phone stolen by a whore. So who's going to be the first? As I mentioned, we're about $80 away. We're about $80 away from hitting that mark where we can buy my mom a new iPhone. And then we can all feel good about ourselves because we did something awesome for somebody who is awesome. My mom, of course, being a... Uh, she, she, she largely raised my, my sister and I by herself. She, she, she adopted children my whole life. Uh, she survived cancer, double mastectomy. You know, my mom is a great lady. So, I mean, I, I know that you guys are just trying to get a rise out of me. Some of you in the chat acting like fucking cunts. Uh, saying my mom's a whore and whatnot. I mean, it comes with the territory. The subject matter of this this whole fucking thing is, is, is you know, clowning on whores. But my mom's great. And uh, she did not deserve to have her shit stolen. And nobody deserves to have their fucking shit stolen. You had some carny wrestler steal your cheap phone. Out him! Tell us his name. Was it Jay Phoenix? But yeah, nobody deserves to have their shit stolen. And I mean, it was really fucked up that this happened. Trying to get past it. So. Trying to get my mom a new ho- a new ho-less phone. No mo ho phone, as I've said. Uh. Hell yes! Oh, I know it was a troll. Whatever. I mean, I I'm a fucking troll myself. I could, I could do this shit. I could take it. My mom would have laughed it off. But at the same time, I'm, I'm just saying. Whew. The wrestler's name was Jay or Steve. Well, fuck you, Jay or Steve. How dare you steal from the birthday boy. Opinions on BBBJs. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to get TMI on you all. There is somebody in this room who's like fucking 15 years old. But uh, I'll just say it, I guess. I mean, I've never wrapped it up for that act. I mean, I'm a married man and all, so. You know. What the fuck? Why is there something blowing up over here? Opinions on cream pies. Ah, gross, bro. <laughs> gross. Uh, I know that my mom thinks they're called cream pies. Uh, I know that they're pretty nasty. And I know that this whore won't do them. Won't perform them because she claims that they're not safe. So, I'm going to have to go with the expert and believe that cream pies are not safe.
So are there any are there any ladies in the chat? That's what I want to know right now. Are there any girls watching right now? Because I want to know what you girls think of me doing this. Is it is it wrong? Is it bad? Does it attack your your feminist sides and whatnot? I mean, I've heard the the term slut shaming. Somebody somebody claimed I was whore shaming. I mean, isn't that the fucking point? Am I not here to fucking to fucking shame this whore? Pretty sure I am. Is Blake still in the chat? I haven't seen any messages from Blake. Here's my zombie rake. You can go ahead and blog about it. I plan on writing an article about it. Duel! Holy Fucking duel, ladies and gentlemen. One of my boys from uh, New Legacy. The soft-spoken one, if you will. Okay, Blake's here. Good. Yeah, I, I didn't see you for a second there, Blake. I thought I might have put you on ignore. And I don't know why when I was trying to mod you, so... But it doesn't look like it's going to let me mod anybody for some fucking reason. I don't know. But whatever, we're good. So, right now I'm just killing zombies, waiting for a donation to come in. Then I will read a, uh, a whore tweet, a whore tweet, a whore text. In, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll slip into the whore text vortex. And, uh, <laughs> whore text vortex. That's the new name of this stream. I'm going to change it in a few minutes. The whore text. Nah, I'll probably get in trouble for having that in the title. But it's the whore text vortex to you, me, and uh, everybody else. Um. Yeah, I, then we'll slip into that thing, and I'll start reading some texts. Uh, did anybody join late? Is anybody not familiar with the new developments? The things that happened today? Relating to the, the whore phone? And the whore herself? Rupees. This is fucking Hyrule. If anybody's unfamiliar with, if anybody didn't, okay, okay. Uh, Duel, are you familiar with the story so far? What's happened and whatnot? The whore stealing the iPhone and and we got it back and there's all sorts of fucking whore texts on it. And Guys, I feel like you're being kind of racist. Not racist, but like ignorant. Yes, fucking Rez is here. This is awesome. The whole gang is here tonight. I'm happy. All right. So some some of you have not heard. Some of you have not heard the new developments. So I'm gonna I'm gonna. Repeat. I'll start from the beginning real quickly. I'll give you guys the Cliff Notes version. The TLDR. Uh, my niece was using my mom's cell phone. She brought it to her friend's house around the corner. Uh, put it on the counter to go join in on a water fight that was happening outside. When she returned into the house, the phone was gone. Uh, there was a shady individual who was friends with her friend's mom. Uh, isn't anymore. Uh, after yesterday, that's for sure. But uh, isn't anymore. Holy fuck, I'm just beating the shit out of all these dudes. Uh, who was hanging about, and when when my sister, my mom, my brother, everybody heard that she was around, we all knew that that is where the phone went. We all knew, without a shadow of a doubt. But we're not we're not one to go out and blame anybody or, or call somebody out on somebody if we don't have any proof. So this was three weeks ago, and just this past Saturday, this girl got back into town, and she was bragging to everybody who would listen that she had a new iPhone. And... Fishy enough, you know, fishy, yeah, fishy, whore, vagina. Uh, fishy enough, it was the exact same make and model and whatnot as my mom's iPhone that was stolen. Same color, uh, had a chip in the same spot, everything. So my brother uh, pointed out to my sisters, oh, I didn't read any messages today, but I will, don't worry. Uh, my brother pointed out to my sister, my niece's friend's mom, 
that he thought it was fishy that, you know, the phone went missing from her house. She was there, and now she's got one. So that girl, that lady, agreeing with my brother, called her out yesterday, eventually got uh, an admission of guilt, and my mom got her phone back. Uh, my mom was obviously upset, you know, all her photos and whatnot, her apps, her fucking Candy Crush fucking progress, everything's gone. Except, uh, it's now been replaced by a ton of, uh, text messages from people setting up whore dates with this girl. Now, me not wanting my mom to have this phone anymore, I, I feel like this phone's tainted, it's gotta go. I decided that I would do live reads of whore tweets in exchange for donations in order to buy my mom a new iPhone. And uh, so far we've raised over 200. We gotta hit about three, a little bit over three, and uh, then we can buy her a new phone. But the new developments, guys. The new developments, okay? I've caught you guys up now. The new developments. One, there was a knock at my door today. Uh, upon answering the door, it was none other than the whore. Now, I thought maybe, you know, someone tipped her off, she heard the stream. Even if that was the case, don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if she knows. Um, but she came to the door, and she gave a very weak-ass apology. And the apology being that if I knew it was your phone, I wouldn't have taken it. So what she's saying is, I'm a thief. But if I knew it was your phone, I wouldn't have thiefed that phone from the house of a single mother of two. Uh, who she also stole money from. So, th there's no trust there, you know? Like, she, she stole money from this single mother of two. Plus stole... What the fuck? Party time? I've been invited to a party. I'm not joining your party. I don't know who the fuck you are. Um, you know... She, so she stole all that shit, stole the phone. Yeah, basically, yeah, I'm sorry I got caught. She's only sorry that she got caught. Because, uh, listen, guys, she watched my niece cry when that phone went missing. Because my niece knew she would get in trouble for losing the phone. She watched her fucking cry. And, then, and I, I believe that the actual wallpaper on the, the iPhone was a photo of my niece. So how the fuck do you not know? Especially when you're going to go through it and delete all the shit. And, and see the photos and whatnot, how do you know it's not her phone? You know? When one's going missing that you just fucking stole off the counter where she said it was. And then she had the audacity to go to my mom's house and tell my mom, Hey, I heard your phone was stolen. Who's your provider? Oh, well, if you just call them and tell them that your phone was stolen, they'll send you a new one. So basically, she was saying, Ah, oh, you've got insurance. I, I could steal your phone. It'll be okay. Well, the insurance doesn't cover it at all. Like, she absolutely would have had to have gotten a new phone. So, uh, that's that. Anyway, the apology was not accepted. It was just not accepted. Uh, she listened to her, basically, spout off about how other people in the neighborhood steal shit, and, and how, uh, you know, so that makes it okay. But you know what? Whatever. I don't give a fuck about other people in the neighborhood. They didn't steal from us. So, that happened, but that wasn't all that happened, because she came back later. And not only did she come back, she had the audacity to ask for the phone. Basically, can I have the phone? I want to take the phone and delete all my things from the phone. She was informed that the phone is not her property, and she will not be taking it or deleting anything. But yeah. So... This girl had the audacity to offer a half-ass apology and then show up later and just assume that it would be okay for her to take the phone and delete all the wrongdoings she did with this phone from the phone, all the evidence. Yeah. So, that didn't happen, and guess what? I still have the phone, still full of evidence, still logged into her Facebook, still logged into her fucking Instagram. And I mean... I've had people on Reddit tell me that I should be uh, posting a status on her Facebook. Oh, pile driver Kevin Steen! I do that every time. Uh, I should be posting a fucking status on her Facebook telling everybody she slept with to get checked. And tell everybody that they slept with to get checked. 
and shit, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I, I like Blake's idea better of uh, changing every single photo on her uh, Instagram to a photo of her with Gary Busey's face. But I also like the idea of, you know, reading out her text to you all in exchange for donations to get my mom a new phone. And uh, then once we have enough for that new phone, maybe, oh shit, auctioning this one off with everything intact, everything logged in, everything to the highest bidder so they can do with it as they please. What are your thoughts on that, guys? What are your fucking thoughts? Her Instagram ISW promotions. Yeah, we're about 80 bucks away from a new phone. She'd put her face on Finley Dick. Blake is the master of putting faces on Finley Dick. We saw him do it to Player Uno. He actually put uh, Finley's face on an old nude that a girl sent me once. That was pretty great. So, we're about $80 away, uh, give or take, getting my mom a new cell phone. And then after that, it's fair game. I'll figure out, you know, you know we'll, we'll figure out what we want to do with it. Speaking of figuring things out, I should probably figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing in this game right now. Right there. Hey, it looks like Blake is a mod now. I see a sword beside your name, Blake. Jesus Christ. I took forever. So yeah, I had a great time last night doing this. I want to do it again. There's still plenty of texts to be read, guys. And somebody keeps trying to invite me to a party in uh, <clears throat> Dead Rising. I don't know if I should just accept it and just torture this dude or what. What do you guys think? Oh, no way. Rez. Are you serious? This is my favorite game for this system so far, as you could tell, because I'm always fucking playing it. I've already beaten it. Uh, I've got the DLC that I still need to play. The DLC is hard to play while you're, while you're doing this kind of thing, though, where I have to stop and, and read texts and whatnot, because, uh, yeah, because, uh, it's, it's timed. And, uh, it's just annoying. <laughs> I would trust Blake with a sword. Absolutely. I've seen Blake angry before, and <laughs> I think maybe he would kill somebody if he had a sword, but as long as it's, you know, the right person. It is Xbox, Xbox exclusive, exclusive, but I believe they're releasing it for PC soon. So I've heard. There you go. It's going to be on Steam. Oh, it's on PC now. Well, then. Yes, Blake, I've seen you angry. When a certain somebody uh, didn't tell you when his train was going to leave. And you had to rush to the train station with him. I've seen angry Blake. Yes. I did tell that story. I got some friends. Yeah, you were you were steaming mad. We were actually scared for that kid's life. <laughs> Guys, I'm noticing that this cold's got my voice kind of raspy, which means that my Morgan Freeman may be pretty good tonight. And I think that Morgan Freeman wants to read some whore texts. 
So that donation's below. That donation button's below. Remember, we gotta get to about 80 bucks today. I can only do this till probably about 11.30, so about another two hours. Let's hit that mark for Mama. And then once we do that, we'll figure out what the fuck we want to do with this phone. Do we want to auction it off to the highest bidder and let them just do whatever the fuck they want with this whore's information? Or... I don't know what else we could do with it, really. I don't think it was somebody that anybody knows in here, really. Okay, I gotta go this way. Ah, fuck it the fuck off, me asshole. Oh, DDT. This guy really is just Kevin Steen with the pile drivers and the DDTs. Oh, man. All I want is to hit this $80. Might be able to tomorrow. I, I don't know if I can stream tomorrow. I'll try to. Do you guys want me to do this again tomorrow? Like, what's what's the deal? Want me to keep doing this? Yes. <laughs> yes, I, uh... I was pretty angry the whole weekend, to be honest. So I understand why Blake would be angry, too. Trying to get to where I've got to go. Oh, well, that's nice, man. I really appreciate that. I want to see if maybe we can hit that mark tonight so that my mom could go get her new phone tomorrow. My mom has been without a phone for almost a month. And then, uh,. And then we'll 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 have a bidding war. Maybe a bidding war if anybody actually wants this fucking thing. But I I can just imagine the fun that you could have with this phone and the information that's in it because you know what? This bitch doesn't deserve it, you know? This bitch doesn't deserve to uh you know, not be fucked with after what she did. Fuck! I'm dying. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got a real problem with whores. Take your time, brothers. Ah, fuck! <laughs> Military dudes. Oh no, it's these fuckers. Okay. Uh, I have a gun. Oh, fuck off. Ah, oh, fucking assholes. That guy's mohawk just disappeared. Yeah, I'll fuck with her, bro. Not in the way she gets paid for. Fuck, put it this way. I'm gonna get paid to fuck her. Shit. Oh fuck, this dude's gonna kill me. Really? Oh fuck yes. Thank god. Yeah, I hit that dude so hard his mohawk fell off. That was great. I mean the greatest thing I've seen in here though was the zombie hat that I was wearing yesterday. Where all the zombies were randomly levitating above my head like a fucking zombrero. <laughs> Stream is better than TNA. You know, guys, honestly, I've never watched a full episode of TNA in my life. And, like, this isn't me being like, oh, TNA sucks or whatever. I just never have. I've, I've never been able to really get into it. So, like, it's always weird when I'm on, like, a podcast or something. No, not no donations yet, buddy. 
But once there is, all oh, Morgan Freeman will 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 we'll break out of uh, his uh, overnight retirement and uh, read some horror texts. But yeah, like when I'm on a podcast and somebody mentions TNA, I never know what to say because I just don't know much about the product at all. I think I've watched maybe half a show. That's about it. Oh, that kill all these right. fucking zombies. Yeah, so... Never! Never watched it. Hello, Lil Dog. How are ya? Ah, oh, fuck, really? This is apparently not the way to go. But I'm killing zombies like a motherfucker. Cheeks. Who the fuck is Cheeks? I do have the DLC. I've got the Super Mega Ultra fucking EX Turbo motherfucker fucking Mike Hagar shit. Okay, where the fuck do I go to get to my destination? Are you serious? I'm that goddamn far from it? Apparently I went the wrong way. Well, where the fuck is the right way? Oh! We got a donation, guys! Five dollars US. Twitch username Faradarts. I'm gonna get off this vehicle and get to higher ground so that no zombies can hurt me and then I will seek out a tweet uh tweet. Yeah, you can go ahead and join. I'm I'm Rachi Kong on uh on Xbox Live. You can try to join me if you like. A quality switcher? No, I'm streaming in medium on purpose. Because it hasn't been very uh reliable for me. To tweet or to to stream in in high. Sorry about that. Okay, let me see what we got here. Going through these. Party time apparently. Oh, I'm just gonna fucking join this party. Uh, I don't know if my stream's still going. Ah! Yeah. How do I do that? Let me invite you, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. It's not working. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to.
Guys, are you there? I don't know what the fuck just happened. Yeah, it does need hitbox support. Alright. Okay, guys, I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Some kid uh, tried to join my game, and I got... He invited me to a party chat, and it, like, kicked me off the stream. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but we got a $5 donation. So I'm gonna look for a, uh... For a, for a text here to read. Okay. Okay. So, for this fucking, uh, this text, this one's a $5 one, so I'll just read this one here. I'm starting from the bottom. I want to read the whole list. So, thank you to the donator, James Tobin. Here we go. Uh, I'll Morgan Freeman as the guy, and the girl will be, um, Bobby from Bobby's World. Okay? How's that sound? Ah, uh, hello. Was wondering how much for an hour of your time. Hey, babe. It's 2.20. Okay, thanks. We'll see if I can get that much. Any restrictions? Sure, babe. Anything goes, as long as we play safe. <laughs> okay, thanks. Boom. That was it. So that's your, there's your whore text. That was uh, Morgan Freeman asking what her restrictions are and uh, and how much she costs, and seeing if he could possibly put that amount together in order to make it work. So thank you to Feridat Feridarts. Because reading whore text for a good cause. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So we are five dollars in, guys, and uh, can only go up from here. I will fucking knock out more Bobby for y'all, even though it hurts my throat. I've been doing Bobby since I was a little kid. I think it's a Canadian thing. Howie Mandel being Canadian as well. Uh, so if anybody out there wants to throw another donation our way. I will read more whore texts. As I mentioned before, there are tons. A lot of them are her saying that she's 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 uh not working this weekend. I mean That's funny in itself, because I mean I didn't know that horse took days off. What's the difference between a prostitute and a crack dealer? <laughs> After a crack dealer sells his crack, he can't go back, he can't wash it and go back on the corner and sell it again. That was a bad joke. But I got a sledgehammer. And I've got tons more text, so if you guys want me to read more of that shit. Oh shit, we got a donation, folks. Gonna jump on top of this cab here, or this driving student car thingamajig. We got ten bucks from Rez. Thank you, Rez. Rez, any requests, voice-wise, as I look for a suitable tweet, or tweet. I keep calling them tweets. They're texts. Not all whores go to heaven. <laughs> We got a donation, so we got a tweet. We got a, I mean, a tweet. Why do I keep calling them fucking tweets? Why? Goddamn texts. Then again, I'm not a cell phone person, so... Maybe that's why I keep calling them tweets instead of texts. I'm not sure. Do a Blake impression. I don't have a Blake impression. 
Blake would just be like, <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Blake. That's not even a good Blake impression. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, fine. It's going to be my uh, version of a Blake impression. Blake, don't mean to offend you here. It's not going to be anywhere near close to you, Blake. Oh, that sounds... Ex okay. I don't remember how I just did it. All right. So, Bla Blake playing the role of the John and Morgan Freeman playing the role of the whore. Uh, 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 hey, guys. Uh, hey, Jamie. Uh, how's it going? Hi. Not bad. And you? Uh, all right. I guess you're in town tonight? Apparently, Blake is fucking Bobcat Goldthwait. Yes, I am. Smiley face emoticon. What's the pr what's the price? And do you cater to uh, MMF or just single? I guess he fucking wanted to tag team her. Ah, just single, babe. Uh, uh, no pro. And that was it. I guess that this guy was only interested in uh, a double team job here. And, uh. She was not down, so he was like, fuck y'all. So thank you for your donation. And uh, as I mentioned, keep them coming. Got tons of these, uh, these texts to read. And my mom had just came down here. Mom, are you in for for a few uh for a few? Okay, guys. The next few, my mom will partake. My mom will partake in the live read. Nope. There's yeah, there's different people today, mom. There's 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 some yeah, he's always here. Get the get get the clamps. Yeah, the clamps guy is always here. He doesn't have the clap. He's actually 15 years old, so... Yeah. So, guys. Next donation gets my mom and I doing a live read. Mama Roch, how are you? Boom! Clamps is a child. Res Clown is the last person to donate. And uh, I appreciate that, Res Clown. And I got to read, uh... I got to read, uh, as Blake seeking sex from Morgan Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Mama Roch. We gotta get Mama Roch a new phone. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh, this is that guy who's got all the guns. He's like, hey there, mister. You want some? Go take it. Well, yeah, you're going to barely hear her until it's time for her to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Prost Talk with Mike Roch. That's the name of this thing. I'm building guns like a motherfucker. We got another donation. Another one from the Res Clown. This time, $5 US. I will now look for a text. Okay. Uh, this one's pretty weak. I don't want to read that one. A lot of these are just asking for rates. Ah, this one's pretty long. If I if we could do if I could do a voice, then we could do this. Yeah, prostate talk. Um. Okay. So this one is somebody asking her for her rates and whatnot and complimenting her. Uh, any any voice suggestions? Should I do the the Morgan Freeman, the Bobby Generic, the uh, Kevin Steen? Bobby Generic. 
You're the problem. <laughs> What up, Lil Gabe4204? How are you? Freight train. I'm freight train. Okay. Uh, shit. Stone cold. <laughs> uh, I can't oh, wow. do a dual impression. Uh, Stone cold. Let's see. Hello, Jamie. I'm going to be coming back to town later this evening and wanted to inquire about your services offered and rates. Thanks. Oh, shit. Fucking thing just turned off. Ah, fucking piece of shit. Thanks, and I look forward to hearing from you. Beautiful pics. Give me a hell yeah, bitch. Beat Deborah. Thank you for the compliment. I'm full GFE, and I am open to anything. As Girlfriend long as we, experience. As long as we play safe. My hour rate is 220, and for half an hour, it's 140. 140 for a half hour. Not worth it. Not worth it. This bitch, very much like Rick Steiner, the dog-faced gremlin. Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do a Stone Cold, guys. I'm sorry, I tried. I tried, that's all that matters, right? Right? We good? We good. Shit, I want that sledgehammer. Thank you, Res Clown. My mom sounds really young. Spoiler, she's not. <laughs> oh yeah, she changes her price a lot depending on who it is. There are some sometimes where she'll be like, oh yeah, like the guy will be like, Can I give you 180? And he'll be like, she'll be like, yep, 180's good. So 200? Oh, 250s for outcalls. Yeah, we we we've deciphered her uh, the way she works. Oh my God, pile driver Kevin Steen. That was not Kevin Steen's voice. Can I read the next one? Is Scott Steiner? I can't do a Scott Steiner. Mom, do you want me to stop reading these as, as Kevin Steen? Do you think that's mean? You're pissing me off. Hey, buddy, pile driver. Come over here. I got for you. Pile drove you, buddy. I'm gonna run. Yeah, my name is Mr. Wrestling Kevin Steen. Oh, he didn't mind. He said it was a pretty good impression the last time I heard it. But it's been a while. See, watch this. Oh, shit. Here it goes. My package pile driver, you. I don't have a, a, a Scott Steiner impression. I don't even know what Scott Steiner sounds like. He's just like, yeah. I can do Vince McMahon. Who sounds purdy? I sound purdy. Or my mom. My mom? I got a purdy mouth. Ah, oh, of course it's a boy. Yeah. We're all gamos up in here. But that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um. Yeah. I guess the next donation will get a Vince McMahon. If that's what somebody wants. I, I could do my Vince McMahon. Oh, well, thank you, man. Oh, what the fuck? Undertaker. My Scott Steiner sounds like Sandman. My Sandman! Oh, no, shush. My Sandman is... Yow! What's going on in here? I want a prostitute! Yeah! Oh, yes! I would like a prostitute, yes, yes, yes. Twerk for me, Kane. Hey, <laughs> fat asses. Oh, yes, I would like a prostitute. Blake. Yeah, Blake. Hey, Scotty. Twerk for me, Kane! Oh, yes, yes! The Undertwerker! <laughs> oh, yes, my Undertwerker! Yo, Sandman is next, I guess? Okay, Paul Bearer the Hooker. 
Sandman trying to fuck Paul Bearer. Yeah, that'll be the next one. Who's in, guys? Let's make it happen. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Get out, Mika. Oh, look, it's, it's happening again, guys. Remember this yesterday? What the fuck is this glitch? Oh, oh yes, Vince! <laughs> oh my god. Guys, it's my Zombrero. I'm wearing my Zombrero. Yeah, okay. So the next donation gets a a text read by the Sandman attempting to fuck Paul Bearer. Oh shit, we got another one. Rez. Let's see. Five dollars from Rez. Okay. Gotta find another. No, I'm good. You take forever to find them. This is my stream, lady. I don't think we did this one yes. No, we didn't do this one yesterday. The, okay, you guys ready? This is a fucking good one. So, I mean, th this is honestly one that we should save for like a higher donation, but I'm going to do it in hopes that maybe people uh, see how awesome this is and uh, and throw in more. Yo, what's your rates? Oh, hey, babe. They're 140 for a half hour and 220 for one hour. And anything goes as long as we play safe. Okay. Sounds good to me. So you do anal? How many times am I allowed to come? Oh, yes. I've never tried anal. Of course, babe. Oh, yes, babe. It's MSOG. Multiple shots on goal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You said anything goes. And I'm looking for anal. That's the only thing I don't offer, babe. Oh, yes, yes. Twerk for me, Kane. Sandman, uh... Wanted to uh, take the take the the, the uh, wow the skin boat to Brown Town, and old Paul Bearer was not feeling it. Oh yes, I don't like anal. <laughs> there you go, the Rosh Mom World Order. Let's make that T-shirt. No, Mom, I would never put a picture of you on a T-shirt. <laughs> Yow, yeah, it's me, the Sam Man. Yeah, seriously, what kind of hooker is that? But that was it. Uh, I fucking love doing the Sandman voice and the Paul Bearer. Those are both keepers now. I wanted to put my, my stick in his fucking urn. Oh, yes, twerk on his dick, Undertaker. Yow. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, Bubba Ray Dudley? Remember Bubba Ray Dudley? Oh, yes! Vince McMahon, well, you guys know what to do. No freebies, exactly. This bitch didn't give shit away for free when she was using this phone and making, uh, 
making all sorts of whore dates. We're about $60 away from having this phone. Uh, having this phone eliminated and replaced with a new one. Mom, don't go through them. Don't lose my spot. That's my, that's my, it's my deal. I cannot do a great power Udi. I've never heard the great power Udi speak. I do a Nigerian, and I mean, it's horrible. It's fucking horrible as hell. But. Great power Udi. Yeah. But yeah, this guy, this is fun. As uh, For all you guys who are just joining in today, the whore actually showed up at the door today. She uh, gave a half-assed apology and then came back later and asked if she could take the phone to delete things that she left on it. Uh, bitch, this phone is not your property. Never was. You use it illegally. You're not fucking getting it. So I'm going to slash these motherfuckers up. If you guys want to hear another one, you know what to do. Oh shit, can I get through here? Yeah. Where the f oh, fuck, I have to go back here. But how the fuck do I get there? Great. Power. Uti. I would like for you. What's her Twitter or Instagram? Yeah, like I'm going to tell you that. I tell you guys her Twitter or Instagram, the jig is up. And I can't do that. I'm having too much fun here, guys. Frosted Talk is the greatest thing. Yes, at whore on Twitter. <laughs> at whore. We got another donation. Rez. $60 US. Holy shit, $60. Rez, name your voices. Thank you so much. Name your voices. Oh, this is a good one right here. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, shit. If you ever seen the multiple trick pony, then you see me. You see me when the semen hits the floor. Would you ask for anything more? At slot 469, that sounds pretty good. Rez, what are you thinking voice-wise, my brother? And thank you so much for this. If you ever seen a one-legged dog running backwards in the breeze? Commentator Vince McMahon! What a maneuver! Okay. Alright. Here we go. So, who, but who's the whore and who's the John here? Is, is Vince McMahon trying to fuck Kevin Steen? Or is Kevin Steen trying to fuck Vince McMahon? Wow, this one's actually very long. But you know what? With that donation, worth it. It's gonna make my throat raw as fuck. Probably as raw as her battered, chapped, whore pussy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I could pick. Okay. Sweet! You like happy ending? Of course I do! Happy face. What's your background? <laughs> I'm Canadian, babe. Same. Sexy outfit or topless by the door. Oh, it was a question. Same. Sexy outfit or topless by the door. Sexy outfit for you. Okay. What's kind? It's a surprise. Sweet. Where? North Front and Bell Street. Winky face emoticon. When can you come? Okay, hotel, 8.30. Okay. And for how long did you want to see me? How much for a half hour? 
For a half hour with me, it's one hundred and forty dollars, babe. Are you for real from your pick ads? Oh yeah. Can we do one hundred? Yes, they are me. Very nice. Okay, babe. Come see me for one hundred and twenty dollars. No, this is the one time she didn't spell it C U M. My birthday is coming up very soon. Thank you. <laughs> Why would she say thank you to that? Like, thank you for having a birthday. Smiley face emoticon. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Twenty minutes. Okay, sure. Smiley face emoticon. Thanks. Really big smiley face emoticon. I will see you soon. Smiley face emoticon. See you soon. I might be there between 8.30 to 8.45. Okay, sounds good. What's hotel? Instead of saying which hotel, it's what's hotel. I am at Canada's best value in. Okay, smoking? I don't like smoking. What's your bust? My bust size is a D cup, and I don't smoke. See you soon, babe. I'm off to get ready. Okay, nice. I like it. Okay, see you soon. Uh, just wondering, can I come on your tits? I'll be there at 8.30. Perfect. I'm ready now, smiley face emoticon. Sweet, I'm here now. Can I come on your tits? What's your room? Room 110, babe. Room number? Okay, at door. End scene. Yes, to, to anybody just tuning in now, a prostitute, a real-life prostitute, stole my mother's iPhone. Uh, she had it for three weeks, and in the span of those three weeks, she used this phone to set up uh, hundreds of fuck dates. And all the info is in here. And what I was just reading right there was one of the conversations she had setting up a date with somebody... Settle down. With somebody who lives in the 416 area code, which I believe is uh, the Toronto, Metro Toronto area. Guys, that's not nice. Kevin Steen is raw talent. They've wanted that kid since he was like fucking 19. But thank you, Res Clown, for the donation. We officially have enough to get my mom a new iPhone. Yeah. And uh, so from here on out, what the fuck do we do? No, there are no voicemails on here. I checked. There's a Magic Jack account, and there is a voicemail box. I could change the greeting. I could change the greeting to like... Hey, I'm a prostitute, and I, if you want to fuck me, leave a message. What? Okay, whatever. That's why we're getting rid of it. Stop. I don't know. Nobody can join a party with me right now because the last time somebody tried to join a party, it uh, it kicked me off. Uh, it, it kicked me off the stream. Do you do cum shots, buddy? But yeah. Oh, my batteries are dying. I didn't put them in yet. Come on, man. Oh, no. <laughs> you love steam. <laughs> Kevin Steam. Guys, I'm going to be gone for literally one second. I just have to change my batteries. Well, not one second. Probably like a couple seconds. Where the fuck is my other package of batteries that I had? You need to move. <clears throat> right here. And I had another package as well. Right here. There's... T no. I had two in another package. Okay. Just two. <clears throat> Guys, this is a blast so far. I'm just opening up my uh, my batteries here. She actually didn't say yes at all. She just kind of, she kind of glazed over it. 
she glazed over the conversation of having him glaze her melons with his man speckle. Her pancakes. All right, I'll be right back. Emoticon! Yeah, she uh she also changes the price mid mid conversation. <clears throat> oh, she don't look good, I'll tell you that. I mean She don't look good. Come on, Nick, run! So you guys, what do we do now? We've reached the amount to buy the new phone, which makes this phone officially my property. And uh, I said before that I would be willing to auction it off to the highest bidder while leaving everything intact, leaving all of the texts on here, leaving uh, all of her shit logged in, everything. Basically, you get the phone untouched to do with as you please. So what do you think we should do here, guys? Saying anything, I don't know if they're hearing me. Clean it first, bro. Well, obviously it would be clean first. Yes, I would use a uh, a uh, antibacterial wipe on it, maybe several. And uh, <clears throat> spoiler, I already have. So yeah, read more, make more donations, man. Put your money where your mouth is. But I mean, you could do you could use this phone at your leisure. Her uh, her contacts are in here. Her own phone number is probably in here. I know for sure her boyfriend slash pimp is in here because I've we read a, off a conversation with him yesterday. It is a uh, a Gen 4. It is a, a, a iPhone 4. iPhone 4S. Okay, where the fuck do I have to go? Because it looks like the road is blocked up here. And that's where I have to go. <clears throat> Take whatever you need. Flare guns are fun. Uh, our pimp is kind of dolomite like. He is a he is a black fella. Yes, you can read her browser history. And boy, did I ever see some interesting shit in there last night. She seems to be rather concerned with the fact that she may be pregnant. And she was trying to learn how to squirt. I guess you get paid more if you could squirt. Have you got into her Facebook messages? Oh, man. I couldn't get into her Facebook messages because it's saying that I have to upgrade to the uh, Facebook Messenger. Statuses. Yeah, but she didn't have a status. 
No, I'm not gonna read her statuses, guys. They're not even anything good. Clearly, she's she's like a kayfabe hooker. Like her family doesn't know that she's doing this or something. So she doesn't really. Yeah, I've beaten this game before. <clears throat> Siri, how do I score? Yeah. <laughs> if only she did that. So guys, what should I do with this phone? Does anybody want to start the bidding war? Good hookers. You'll bid? <laughs> Alright. Place your bid. Name an amount. Let's see if we can get anybody to counter it. Me, I, I think this thing's priceless. So, we'll figure out what a good uh, price is in the end. Okay, and Blake says he'll see where Rez goes with his bid. Start at $5. Yeah, we're not starting at five dollars. That's for damn sure. It's a fucking iPhone full of amazing knowledge and uh, knowledge, amazing shit. So Rez's first bid sixty-five. I almost want to put a reserve on this thing just because there's some shit here that can ruin it. So, okay, a hundred dollars from Rez. What phone? A phone full of whore texts and whore logins. A hundred and one from Blake. We got 150. <clears throat> got to keep this thing interesting. Keep in mind, like, my, my mom is probably going to have to get out of her cell phone contract because of the fucking phone switch and whatnot. They're probably going to fuck her over. So we got to make sure that all that's covered as well. Shit, I have fucking got no weapons. I don't know where to go. 149. Didn't somebody just say 150? <laughs> That's one dollar less, Blake! What are you doing? Later, clamps. Yeah, I'm gonna go steal some more guns from this asshole. Hey, we gotta help each other out, you know? So right now Rez is winning unless somebody else wants to get in on this. One sixty. <clears throat> Take whatever you need. I don't know. Keep in mind, guys. There's the texts. There's the Instagram account. Which is fucking fair game once you guys have this. Oh, we got a donation, actually. A donation of $5 from T Square. <clears throat> I will read one for you, T Square. Any any requests voice wise? <clears throat> yeah, you can donate and I'll read more.
for a good one here. There's a bit of 159.99. Read her Twitter DMs. She doesn't have Twitter on here. She's not logged into Twitter. I already checked. Whores don't use Twitter, apparently. Doug Bash. I don't have a Doug Bash. Who the fuck is Doug Basham? I don't know who that is. Regular voice. I just find it funny that she's a prostitute. Okay. Hello. I seen your ad on Backpage. Hey, babe. How are you? Good. And you? Great. Thank you. Smiley face emoticon. I'm $140 for a half hour or $220 for one hour. What time can you make it? Well, I believe I spoke with you before. Do you offer domination and fetishes? Hello? Miss? I'm looking to come after midnight. Hello? Sure, that can work. And yes, I do offer domination and some fetishes. That's fine. Would you do a beatdown? I'm sorry, what is that? Like, slap me around and beat me up. Like, slap the shit out of me. Uh, if that's what you want, I could do that. You have no problem slapping the shit out of me? No, I don't. I will text you later, miss. Okay, babe. Okay, great. There you go. Hope it was as good for you as it was for me. She, this guy wanted her to beat the shit, wanted her to beat the shit out of him. And Rez just made another donation of $5. Okay, let me find one for you here. Uh... Any voices, uh... <clears throat> Let's make Morgan Freeman the prostitute. Okay, this is bad. On this one. You okay with that, Rez? Morgan Freeman and Paul Bearer. <laughs> Paul Bearer trying to fuck Morgan Freeman. <clears throat> For what it's worth, I gotta give this, uh, this prostitute kudos for playing it safe. She won't allow you to come on her or in her or suck your dick without a condom. Props to her. Rez, any suggestions? Are you saying not of mine? Or do you got one? Okay, that's good. Paul Bearer and Morgan Freeman? Alright. Oh shit, there's fucking zombies on my car. He's floating! Fuck! Again! What the fuck is up with this game? Shit's going crazy. Hello? Hey, hon. Details, please. Sure, babe. They are 140 for a half hour. Or 220 for one hour. And anything goes as long as we play safe. Smiley emoticon. The rates are... Oh, yes, a bear black. <laughs> oh, yes, a bear back blowjobs and come, okay? He also misspelled come. He wrote C I M, so it's. Oh, yes, a bear black. <laughs> bear black? A bear back. Well, who the fuck is shooting me? A bear back blowjobs and Kim, okay? Ah, uh, play it safe, babe. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Nap. Text when ready. Okay, babe. Have a nice nap. Smiley face emoticon. 
she, uh, Paul Bear wanted to, to Kim, to sim Kim on her. And get a bear black. Uh, yeah, guys, holy fuck, there's a lot of zombies around me, and there's one whose leg is through my face. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that zombie pussy. Ah, oh, nom 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 nom. Oh, yes. Me want cookie. <laughs> There's somebody shooting at me, and I don't know who it is. Oh. Sky flowers. Oh, it's that asshole up there. I'm actually not making bank, because this is all going to a good cause. It's going to buy my mom a new cell phone, one with no horse stink on it. And, uh, you know. But in reality, yes. Right now, I am fucking a whore and getting paid for it. Although the fucking is not the type that she's used to. I'm a reverse whore. Sky flowers, baby. My mom is off to bed. Say goodnight to mom, everybody. So what are we at with the bidding war, guys? I've got a reserve. I've got a reserve in motion here, just because I know it's, it's fucking iPhone and there's all sorts of awesome shit on it. So Res will be right back. Look at all those dead bodies. Rez is leading with 160. You'll let Rez have the dirty smut phone? Okay. I'll be straight with you guys. I would like to get uh, at least 200 bucks, possibly more, for this thing. I mean, with it being, you know, an iPhone. I, it's not the current gen or anything, but it is an iPhone. It's a good phone. It's got tons of fucking crazy shit in it that could potentially ruin a life. And uh, it come, it could come back to bite me in the ass. And... You know. Plus, we gotta figure out like whether my mom's gotta change her contract with with a new phone or what. I don't know how the fuck this. Cell phones are a scam. That's why I don't have one. But you know what I do have is a desire to read more of these texts. So if anybody, anybody wants to hear another reading you know what to do there are new, new there are no nude photos but you do get uh, access to her private Instagram account yeah there's actually dick pics so uh, but yeah you do get you do get new you get access to her private uh, private uh, what you call it private uh, Instagram in which you could see like her her racy photos. Is there Instagram messages? I don't know. I didn't actually check. That's a good fucking question. Well, let me check right now. But guys, I want to read more of these texts. So uh, if you want to make it happen, you know what to do. The donation button is down below. Where the fuck would I find Instagram messages?
Yeah, is there Instagram mess? I don't think there is. As I said though guys, I would ideally I would like to get at least 200 bucks, preferably a little bit more for this phone just because the the new phone will probably require a a uh, a changing contract for my mom which will cost more fees and whatnot. Plus, you know, for the phone itself. So, if you guys want to keep bidding, I do need a little more than what it's at right now. Yeah, it there doesn't seem to be Instagram messages, but I'm looking at her photos here. And uh, I'm going to see if there's any, like, racy comments I can read out loud. This girl really thinks she's hot shit. She posts a lot of photos with, uh, fucking, like, ch naked chicks with guns on their asses. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. There's a, there's a chick smoking in a car with a gun. She really likes guns, this bitch. There's some, some naked asses on a fucking boat. As I mentioned, uh, a naked ass with a gun on it. There is a picture of a of, of nails, white a white white hands with their nails digging into a black man's back in like the throes of passion, and the hashtags are white girl black man interracial. <laughs> There's a photo of a feast that I guess she bought with her whore money. Holy fuck, that's a lot of food. My brother, she's not a cutie patootie. Her friends, though, she's got some fucking cute friends, that's for sure. Me and my girl last Saturday. There's party pictures, club pictures. Can we get the bidding up past 200? Is that possible? And is anybody else willing to throw in for some texts? Because, God damn it, tons of texts to read. Uh, I read one last night that I wanted to read today in which a man inquires about massages. It ends up being kind of fun. She's got 203 Instagram followers. Man, Van Damme kicks. Uh, how do you take a mission timer off in this game? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm not even really playing. Uh, probably should be. Oh, fuck. I love Jean-Claude Van Damme, so I love your name, by the way, Van Damme kicks. Jean-Claude Jean -Claude Van Damme is my hero, always has been. Someone went to 200? Did that happen? I don't know. I really don't know. Just all I know is that ideally, I, I would like to pass 200 with the bids on this thing. <clears throat> Wish I could have that cake. I'm actually on a diet, my brother. So, uh, more cake for you. I'm trying to shed some of this weight. Been eating big fucking salads. Hashtag big fucking salad. And Rez will go to 200. Will anybody? Will anybody top him there? At all? Rez is the fucking best. Oh my god! Such a great dude. We're nearing 11 o'clock. I've been on here for almost two hours. Um. Does anybody want to hear any more of these texts? 
I will give you a two for one deal right now. You make like a like a like a like a ten dollar donation. I'll go ham on the fucking texts. I feel like a cam whore. I feel like I'm trying to get you guys to take me to a private room or some shit. But, uh, I'm doing this for the love of my mom and the hate of Hooker Stink. And, uh, I'm gonna wash this phone off real well before I send it out. Not that I haven't already. I've taken some fucking Lysol wipes to it. Show my tits. How about you suck my dick, bro? And I mean that with the utmost respect. You know, I have nothing against hookers, man. Hookers provide a service. They're independent contractors. They're they're not much different than like independent pro wrestlers to be honest. I mean they fucking wreck their bodies for money. I, I I could not actually come up with that comparison, really. Uh but yeah, um Shit, donation received. Hold on here. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I should go. I don't, I don't remember how to fucking get to this place. Buddy. Okay. She ain't in the bareback. We got the $10 donation. Okay. I'm gonna find two really good ones here. And then, uh... Then I don't know what... I still logged into her Instagram. That's fucking crazy. So the Instagram's gonna stay logged in. And, uh... People can do whatever the fuck they want with it. I don't care. Whatever you do, don't mention my name. Don't mention my mom. You bought this phone off somebody. Okay, I'm looking for... Okay, Rez, any uh any preferences for the voices for this first one? Look for this fuck I'm having a hard time finding the one I want to read. This one's pretty good. I might have read this yesterday. And, uh... But honestly, it's so good that it deserves a second reading. Maybe... Oh, Jim Ross! Oh, shit. You know what's fucking crazy? As I was speaking in a Jim Ross voice earlier. Now I don't remember if I could do it. By God! Goddamn! No, I don't know if I could do it right. Baby, Hey. You're gorgeous! <laughs> I can't do Jim Ross, fuck. <laughs> I can't do Jim Ross or Jerry Lawler. Uh, trying, I'm trying, like, uh... Stone Cold! Stone Cold! No, I can't do it. <clears throat> I mean... I I'm trying to figure out which ones I can do here. Jim Ross and whoever. <laughs> oh, God. I don't remember what Jim Ross sounds like. Just sounds like a miserable old man from Oklahoma. Just talking like that. Miserable. BB. Hey! You're gorgeous. 
I want you BBFS. I think that stands for bareback fuck session. I'm not sure. I'm just making up. I want you BBFS. Thank you, love. I am 140 for the half hour. Or 224 hour. And anything goes as long as we play safe. The one thing I want is to be a little unsafe. I, I'm clean and never had anything. I would never ask, but I know you're a classic girl, and I can trust you. Okay, thanks, babe. You have my rates and restrictions, so let me know if you can come. Smiley face emoticon. So, condom, anal, double penetration, rim job. Of course, love, smiley face. Safe play that you will never regret. Anal is not offered. Oh, yes, no. Okay, so it's not anything goes then. Yes, just no anal and protection. Smiley face, three X's. Okay, I'm looking for cream pie. It's my favorite thing to do. I understand, though. Boomer Sooners. So I don't know if that was a good Jim Ross. I tried. I was kind of going off what it sounded like when he was on Colt Cabana's podcast. And he was very fucking boring. It sounded like he was falling asleep. It just sounded like he was falling asleep. He really wanted... Anal, double penetration, or a rim job. So there's that. Let's look for the one I wanted to read. Okay, now I'm looking for the other one. Okay, uh, shit. Oh, shit, this one's pretty good. <clears throat> Rez, any, uh, any, uh, fucking voice recommendations for this one? This is not the one I was looking for, but it's pretty good. I didn't see this one before. Darkfire3814, this shit is uh, me playing Dead Rising 3. See? Killing zombies. Curb stomp. Then jumping back on the car. And reading texts. Reading texts uh, 